Congratulations if you've just got yourself a new job. Hopefully you got a salary increase. Now recruiters suggest that if it was a job change rather than a career change, that raise shouldn't be less than 10%, even in the current job market. Maybe you got stock options as part of your package, popular with bosses because they involve a commitment from the employee. But make sure you're clear on how much you could or would want to invest. What the vesting schedule is, that's how many options you'll be offered and how many years that offer will be spread over to you and me, and the expiry date of the options. Now we all love a good bonus and it should bring a welcome boost to your bank account. But be crystal clear that you understand from day one what targets you'll be measured on. Remember, a bonus is usually discretionary, so you might get nothing if times are tough. Those who move between jobs regularly have often bought into multiple pension schemes. So, do you leave the money where it is or aggregate it into one place? That's a tough one. In some cases, fees for pulling your money out of a pension fund can be high, perhaps even 15 to 20% of the pot value. But most contracts have much lower contractual exit fees or don't charge any, preferring instead to charge a withdrawal fee if the money's in a profitable fund. So read the small print and ask a financial advisor. But aggregating your pot could still be worth doing if you've years to go before you retire and could recoup those costs over time by moving it into one well-managed fund. Company paid training is perhaps the most undervalued boost to your finances. See what's on offer and take it. Get your new company to pay for you to lift yourself into the next pay threshold altogether.